I'd like to take this occasion to thank you, Dr. James, and the Anderson family for sharing with us tonight. If you walk out of here and the only thing that you take with you is, you know, wow, what a big family, or why didn't God make any bases or something? Um, or how many gallons of milk do you go through a week or something like that? Really, we've missed the boat. That's not the heart that they want to communicate to us. Their heartbeat is for you to know Jesus Christ. Not as a figure in history, but presently as your own personal Lord. The one who not only gives to you eternal life, but provides for you here and now abundant life that gives you the songs in the night, that gives you the spring in your step in spite of whatever your circumstances happen to be. And that is the message of the songs. That is the message of the Word of God. It is given to change your life. And I hope that your life has been changed. I hope that if it hasn't, that tonight you will take the challenge that has been given to you, that you will appropriate it to yourself, you will recognize who you are before God without Christ, and that you will accept Jesus Christ as the only provision, the only payment for your sin. Don't do it tomorrow. Do it today. Our Father, Thank you. Thank you for giving to us joy. Thank you for giving to us the gift of music, the opportunity to express to you, to others, even to ourselves, what you mean to us. And Father, we are grateful that, that we have the opportunity to rejoice and to share in the work of grace that you have done and are doing. Thank you for the challenge tonight, the many challenges that have been given. Thank you for all of the work that went into communicating this message to us tonight. And I pray that you'll help us to take this now, help us to live it out, recognizing who you are and what you expect of our lives here and now, so that we might be prepared for what you have in store for us in the future. Father, I pray that you will keep us safe as we travel tonight. Give us a week in which we acknowledge your presence and live it accordingly. And I pray that those that you bring into our paths, that we will look, as, look at them as divine encounters, as opportunities reflect your life and your light. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Good night.